And hello my brave knights, princesses, and princesses, and welcome back to Let's Play Grey. Last left off, I was paranoid. Still slightly am. Yeah, of course they're gonna make me go into a vent. Vents have never been safe in horror games. Like I said before, I also have I've have I have Nightmare House 2 also. Um I will be playing that soon. I know that it's an old game and that other people played it. But I'm playing the 2015 version, which means scenes are upgraded a bit. So, and yes, thank you for asking why I'm talking, cause I, I, for, and for saying, are you talking because you're nervous, because I am, a little bit. It's so weird, I can play Outlast, I can play Atlas 2 without betting an eye, I can play even Soma. But it's the atmospheric games that get to me. Always the atmospheric games. Always. That's a long way down. So, um, you guys probably will want to know if since I'm playing this, if I'll play Cry of Fear by myself. Well... Looks like I found the way out. Yeah, good for us, right? Close the building for the working hours, so I don't want st strangers walking around. If you want to leave for something, the key is on the top of my locker. Okay. So, where is lockers at? So, this light bulb is really low. I mean, like, ridiculously low. Well, you gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. So I have to look for a locker. Also, there was a hole in this wall. Was there a hole in this wall before? I don't. Just door. No, please stop. So, where were the lockers again? Let's see, I know there were lockers somewhere, like back there somewhere. Surprising that we have pipe proof boxes. Yeah, the guy's all excited that there is a way out, but... It's locked. 
Honestly, I think that opening was there before. I just never noticed it till now. Which is bad because I usually get very good at noticing things. Okay, there is oops, there. This is maintenance. Oh, lockers. Good. I'm half expecting that once I come back through that dark area, there's going to be something there. The cluster of imposing masoner masonry and dark alleyways finally gave way to the familiar light lights of the city. After catching my breath, I instinctively began walking towards work. I was looking for help, lacking any other options. Even in the brighter lights of the street, shadows seemed to be creeping around the edges, uh, edge of my vision. My imagination turned them into horrific distortions of the otherworldly menace. I felt hemmed in as if something were directing me down a path I did not necessarily want to tread. You and me both. Finally. No more ducts or dusty rooms. Yeah. But now we're out here again. I don't know which is better. Being in ducks and dusty rooms, or being outside where anything can happen. Do not. <laughs> so we're going in there, huh? Yep. Usually hospitals are the one of the typical horror scenarios. Hopscotch. It's a fun little game. Used to play that myself. <laughs> I never checked if the hospital door is opened. Probably should. You probably don't, but I'm checking anyway. Didn't think so. I still can't run, I can only walk. I miss running. I'm sure they'll enable you to run in certain situations though. Don't want to chill out with anybody. Yeah, let's go into the creepy tunnel. Back into more cla claustrophobic areas.
with Chinese food and Minute Maid. It's kind of a bold statement to put that there, though. One, once again, bad sign when they're putting med kits down. Oh dear. Somebody is doing this. What the fuck was that? Ugh. One of the tricks to playing a horror game is to anticipate every jump scare, it's just... I did not anticipate that one. And it made me jump literally two feet in the air. Nowhere is safe. It's a nice TV, too bad it's ancient. Nice bathroom. Oh dear. Why did he Why listen to me? I'll take care of you. Why don't you come back? Since the relief of reaching work never came, another note was waiting for me, drenching me with a wave of dread. The handwriting again seemed to almost dislodge something from my memory. It was clearly from the same author. Again, the message was brief, but this time it held an intimate message to go home. Of course, the quick way back would be through the decaying homeless shelter, the subway waiting on the other side, wanting to save time. I set out. We are not doing good. We're hallucinating, we're hearing voices. We're not doing good. I don't want to go back either. I finally made it. Say what now? What the? This is my mother's handwriting. The game just gave me a gun. It couldn't be her. I don't have a choice though. I have to follow it. The game just gave me a gun. That's a good sign. Usually when there's electricity, I mean something needs to be shut off somewhere. I haven't really been hurt by anything yet, but it's nice to see stuff lying around. Let's see.
Yikes. Oh, great. Well, this game is definitely doing a good job scaring me. What? Okay. Okay, can't get through there. So one other area I, I saw that we could go through. Never mind. Found a vent with <laughs> Okay. I have a new weapon. Terrific. Do I need it for this? Wrong weapon. Oh, um, wait, wait, where's the wall? Nope. Oh, it has power. Where's that my flashlight? No, the drill actually has power. Okay. That makes total sense.
Oh no. The metro station was different somehow. Nothing I could nothing I could put my finger on, but everything seemed slightly off. It was as if the entire building had rotated just a couple of degrees. Areas I remembered walking through were now closed off, leaving me unable to shake the feeling that some unseen force was guiding me down pathways to a destination I had no way of knowing. It's called to our death. Oh. Okay, so when we come back, guys, more of this game. Until then, leave a like and subscribe because there's always room for more. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.